So, taking a look at the droop compensating system on the 206. <clears throat> Here we have our linear actuator, okay, that's attached to the arm on our governor. So right now, as you can see, we're at the low, the pointer's at the low end of the governor. In order for our engine to keep up speed when we put a load on it, we need to somehow move this governor when we move our collective okay because we increase the pitch which is going to increase the load which will require more engine power for our rotor system um, to stay at 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 our speed okay at 100 percent our nr we don't want it drooping below operating nr okay so that's done through linkages okay mechanical linkage to our Collective. So I'll just walk along here. Here's the linkage. Goes down. Okay. Down into the broom closet. All right. And there it is, right there. Now if we take a look down here, right there, that's where it's connected to our collective. Okay. So I can actually <coughs> go here and move the collective. That's me moving up on the collective. That's down. Can't get a good. You get the idea. Up, down, up, down. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up. And while I have this set up, what I'm gonna be doing is basically I'm just gonna be moving up and down on the collective, and you'll see what happens to that arm. Okay. So that's that's pointing at the linear actuator. Right here, this is our uh, rod that's connected to the arm of the governor. So remember, N2 governor right here. And let's take a look at this arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it up and then down. Notice that um, this arm here moved as I move the collective up and down. So this will increase my N2 to provide me with that extra power I need to compensate for the extra load that I've put on the on the rotor head by increasing the pitch of the blades. 